Hello and welcome everyone. All right, let's go ahead and get started. My name is Jason Lehman. I'm the marketing team lead here at Fishbowl Solutions. And today, very exciting, we have a webinar that most of the webinar will be given by a customer, an Oracle and Fishbowl customer, DHL. And they're gonna talk about how they've partnered with Oracle and Fishbowl to engage their global workforce in a digital world. So here are our speakers. I'm going to give each one of them a chance to introduce themselves. Jonathan at DHL, why don't you start? Yeah, thanks, Jason. Hi, guys. My name is Jonathan. I'm based out in Bonn, Germany. I'm a senior product owner of the um, employee experience platform of DHL Express with the company now for um, roughly six weeks, uh, six months, six years, sorry. And um, on that, have quite a bit of experience here, particularly to HR projects, where also here this topic is um, hosted. So I'm excited to talk a bit more uh, about our experience with, you know, providing a digital experience to our employees. Awesome, John Sim. Hey guys, John Sim here, out of Cambridge in the UK. I've been with Fishbowl now for 20 years, focused on um, content management on the Oracle platform, and I've been working heavily with DHL for the last three years on their employee engagement platform. I'm also an Oracle Ace, and I do a number of presentations uh, at global events. Great, thanks guys. So here's our agenda for today's discussion. We're gonna cover a slide on really why we're partnering with DHL to give this webinar, kind of the reasons that that we're here today. But really, the, again, the, the primary Focus of today's webinar is really here from here from DHL and their their exciting story with employee engagement. We'll talk a little bit about how Fishbowl helped DHL realize that employee engagement experience. At that point, John Sim will be given a demo of really what our our employee engagement accelerator for Oracle Content Management is and what it can do to really accelerate that journey to realize to realizing that employee engagement experience on the platform that you choose mobile and desktop. And then we'll uh, let Jonathan finish up with some lessons learned at DHL as they went through this journey and what their plans for the future are. But really why we're here is to really help HR leaders that are gonna be on the call understand that there's, there's exciting new ways, modern and innovative ways to engage your employees. And employee engagement is so critical today Obviously, we all realize going through the pandemic, still in the pandemic, people working from home, engaging your employees is critical. An engaged employee is a productive employee, and as you engage them further, they become advocates more and more for your company, more and more for your brand. DHL is going to highlight that. So as they looked at their employee engagement, what they had been doing, they needed a change. And what they, they found is we need to engage employees where they're at and with the devices that they always use, and that's really their mobile phones. And then really, what are the steps that it takes to realize that engagement journey, or to realize that employee engagement? And that's a journey, and that journey will be different for each company, but I think DHL's story and their model and their experience will provide a good blueprint for other companies to follow. And then really all the pieces that are involved, not to overcomplicate anything, but really it starts with that industry leading platform that John will talk a little bit about, Oracle Content Management, that content hub that can surface up the assets relevant to the user and the platform that they're using, mobile or desktop, as well as partnerships, Fishbowl and other design firms that you might consider. Because really what we're trying to do as an organization is if we're engaging our employees with content such as the screenshot on the right where DHL is sponsoring or, and really in this photo helped deliver the cars that are gonna be used in the Bond movie. How cool is that? If you're an employee at DHL, you realize you get a feed on your mobile device about some of that corporate company news. I didn't know we were sponsoring or we delivered the cars for the new Bond movie. How exciting is that as, a, as, you're, as an employee being able to tell other employees or um, colleagues that might be interested in working for DHL, what a cool company you work for. So let's hear more about the coolness of DHL and this and their story from Jonathan. Jonathan, I'm going to turn it over to you now. 
Thanks, Jason. Um, yeah, let's kick off with a quick overview of who we are. So, um, as I said, DHL Express, we are um, one of the six business divisions of Deutsche Post DHL. Ourselves, we have uh, 100,000 or uh, 110,000 employees, literally in every single country in the world. And with this, we are serving more than 200 countries and territories, um, total more than 2.7 million customers. And we are particularly proud of our dedicated aircraft. So the, the footage you see here on top, that's Leipzig, our largest entity, where every night between 50 to 60 planes take off. So it's a very, you know, vibrant, very international company with also all the respective challenges around it. And um, let's move to the next slide. As Jason mentioned, employee engagement is actually an important one when it comes, you know, to keep a motivated workforce. And what we do as a company is running um, for more than 10 years an annual employee opinion survey. Actually, we just kicked it off again this week. And what you see on the slide is basically um, the graph of the engagement score, which is pivotal um, inside this survey. And um, we have seen a significant growth over the last 10 years, you know, of those engagement scores. Um, we're now uh, last year reached a new record high, 91% success, uh, success uh, rate. Um, and that's a quite an important one. Um, also, I think this is an interesting from a background perspective, we reached last year a 93% response rate. It means almost 90,000 employees from all over the world actually shared their feedback. And we still um, managed to get such a high um, you know, score. So that kind of internal feedback of, hey, um, we're doing something right. Where is this all coming from? And this is basically what I want to tell you in the next couple of slides. So let's move on here. Um, how did we achieve it? Well, um, I'm always saying, you know, we, are, we have also very challenging jobs. So, you know, imagine a time where you were, you know, it's around Christmas, you fly somewhere and you take a look outside and you see somebody de-icing the plane. And then, you know, you look further down and somebody's actually putting your luggage also um, into the belly of the plane. And our guy is to do it on a daily basis, be it extremely hot, be it extremely cold, but they're out there, you know, to, uh, deliver the shipments and also with just a promise to our customers. And it's a very tough job. So um, we have to do a lot to, you know, engage them. And um, I want to tell you now how we achieved this over the last couple of years. So let's move on. Um, we essentially started by mapping out our employee journey. And on that, defining different touch points throughout an employee's journey starting you know from the first interactions around recruitment to the point of you know onboarding where you receive this package that you see you delivered by one of our you know own couriers to your home welcoming you uh, with a signed card by your team and um, all the way to you know development recognition and bespoken engagement programs with this and all with this touch point always with the key paradigm of offering the best day every day across this organization. And I um, got one example. Um, let's go to the next slide where, you know, this is really showcasing our um, culture. So what you see here is one of our annual football cups or it's actually a sports event, football cheerleading and ultimately also partying. Um, this one is from, from Belgium where we bring um, employees from all our European entities um, and that's consistent almost of 10% of the total European population. And we're not only doing this in Europe, but in all the continents we are present. And that's a massive event everywhere where we almost engage up to 10% of our total workforce on such events, um, which of course are quite, you know, a big engagement factor. So another photo on the next slide, you know, really showcasing, you know, the spirit of it and, you know, the immense size. And, um, I think that really led to the point um, that we did not really need not only receive um, internal, let's say, recognition, but we'll see on the next slide is particularly also external. And um, yeah, I can quite proudly say that last year we have been awarded by um, World's Best Workplaces um, as the second best workplace in the world. Um, there should be a few, uh, new ranking also coming out in the next couple of weeks, but this is really, you know, where we also achieved um, the, the external recognition that made us really proud 
on our journey from good to great. So I could stop here now, and then we wouldn't talk about employee experience platforms, but of course the, the world is moving on. And um, with them also, of course, new challenges coming in. And uh, we you know, seek to, as a company, to always address those challenges. And let me you know, showcase on the next slide a bit the, the, you know, the one you know, very obvious challenge. What you see here is an area footage of Cincinnati. It's also one of our major hubs. Um, but frankly, I could have taken um, Leipzig, Brussels, Hong Kong, any of those um, you know, major hubs where we have big entities. Um, and what you see here in close density to our own facilities, our major competitors with Amazon, um, FedEx, but you can also, you know, the UPS of the world. Um, we are all, you know, at those major, major logistics hub. And obviously with this, um, there is a big competition around workforce. And, um, you know, throughout, I think, lockdown, Corona crisis, there haven't been a lot of, you know, industries that, you know, successfully continue to grow, but, you know, the express uh, deliveries uh, industry, I can tell you, we did. And with this also, of course, the need for workforce. Essentially, what we had to ask ourselves, and that's on the next slide, is basically, you know, whether this journey that I just, you know, presented to you with all those very physical touch points is really the one that is also, you know, supports us going ahead in a more challenging world, world when it comes to you know the the hunt for for workforce and um we basically said okay let's ask our employees right i mean it's the easiest way to do you know what do they want and um i have here on the next slide just a quote from one of the the couriers in south africa where he basically said you know um and that was even before corona you know they come in the morning into the warehouse um they pick up their shipments jump into their into their van and off they go. And most of the times they don't come in for lunch. They're basically just, you know, um, coming back, finishing the shift. If they need to, you know, um, file in their hand in their, their, uh, their, their vacation. Um, that's one thing. But basically there's no other interaction with us and then the company. Vice versa for them. So they're most of the time alone by themselves. And this courier basically said, you know, I want while I'm on my on my shift, I'm also having my break actually in my van, connect with my colleagues and also with the company. So we went back and looked at our overall journey and basically said, okay, what is really the missing link? What is it that is you know, not fitting um, the demands of our employees? And what is also potentially put us in an uncomfortable situation when it comes to competition? And that is where we uh, basically said there needs to be something digital. And on the next slide, you basically see um, what we've done. So we developed Smart Connect, which is our digital employee engagement platform that is aiming to enable, connect, and engage um, our whole workforce um, you know, on, on both app, uh, so mobile and desktop. And um, I think the very interesting part is that we designed everything around the option that um, this app is secure, but also can be powered um, and run from a private uh, mobile device. Now, what you see on the right hand side are really our three key pillars, connect, engage, and enable. And the connectiveness, you know, as being such an international company is super important. We are a network company. That means when we hand over your shipment, you know, with your good in from one country to another, we need to ensure that it's been treated, um, you know, equally in the right way so that we have this connectiveness across border is super important. This is what this platform is um, doing. Engagement, everything about motivation, right? So Jason was mentioning at the beginning, engagement is absolutely crucial to have a motivated uh, um, workforce. And lastly, and maybe that's the interesting part for all the HR folks here on the, on the call, this whole exercise and this whole project was kicked off by HR and is still owned by HR, not by IT. We actually only partner up with them, not by communications, also only a partner. It's led by HR. And the key part here is that we really seek to offer HR services to employees in a digital manner. So this is really an absolutely pivotal part of the employee experience that we want to provide to our employees. With this, let's take a quick look at the functionalities on the next slide that we're currently providing. So 
again, keeping in mind those three pillars, you know, um, connect, enable, and um, you see here basically that those elements are also reflected. So um, everything around connectiveness, um, around, you know, communications, you have different feeds around it. The engagement part is focusing on social content. That's equally something that you can choose. So it's a lot around personalization. On the right hand side, you see a lot of elements that are focusing on, on uh, the enablement part with um, providing different services. So, and this is quite important for us and also a big milestone that you now, uh, be it an operational guy or if, um, a white collar employee, just can go to your phone and actually check out, you know, career path options, um, talk to you or message your, your boss if you want. Um, and, um, you know, be an active part of a global community. So this is the current status. And um, from a service perspective, and with this handing over now to John to talk a bit more about, you know, our technical journey um, and all the magic that is basically happening in the back end. Brilliant. Thanks, Jonathan. So at a high level, we've been working with DHL now for the last three years on employee engagement with the Oracle Content Management Platform as the core foundation for delivering personalized content through to the Smart Connect app. And we've been focusing on content management and experience since 99 with portals, mobile apps, and digital assistance. We were also recognized as one of the premium Oracle partners for building dynamic and engaging experiences on top of their platforms that offer content personalization, integration with communication tools, and social capabilities, and more. We've been focused for the last 10 years on content experience, delivering portals and apps to companies like Medtronic, Rolls-Royce, DHL, and more, and you can see here over the last 10 years. So today I'll be demoing our employee accelerator and talking about what features both DHL and Fishbowl have found to be key for building a dynamic global employee engagement application. From personalization of content within feeds to social engagement and self-service, giving your employees a voice and turning them into influencers and advocates. I've presented at Open World in a number of events, but what I really see um, is an evolution from portals across to employee engagement. Here you can see on the left is Atlas, and this is part of one of Oracle's offering, which is Web Center Portal back in 2012. And we built a, a mobile app uh, with a bunch of services and offerings. And since then, we've evolved that to our Atlas employee engagement platform, which I'm gonna show you today. And it helps users do their day-to-day, -day, complete their day-to-day -day tasks quickly and effectively under a single branded user interface. So when I say that, I mean, we're able to now connect to multiple systems, whether they're cloud services or on-prem applications, and bring that content and functionality dynamically under a branded, uh, very performant uh, application that's providing personalization, not only on the content that's being delivered to that user, but also the services and the tools uh, that we make available, limiting functionality that may be provided by SaaS applications, uh, to more condensed microbytes that they can easily do to do their day-to-day -day job. Before we jump into the demo, I just want to cover a few items that we believe are key when developing uh, the accelerator for employee engagement. First, we want to get the app out there and into the hands of all the users from around the world, from field service workers to employees behind the desk. And to do that, we've made a progressive web app that could be installed by accessing a website or deployed and installed from any mobile app stores. Now, we've used a mobile first strategy when designing the experience and enabled the app to be both responsive and also expose device capable functionalities to the end user. So things like biometrics, camera support, if you're on a mobile, to single sign on when you're on desktop. Now, another key factor is the size of the app. It has to be light, and it has to be fast for users around the globe who may have low bandwidth and also optimized to work offline. So we knew that the speed of the app would be key to keeping our users engaged, allowing us to push content out 
and send notifications that will drive them back to the app to get information and ongoings of the company quickly. This leads, and Jonathan's going to cover this late after the demo, um, but this leads to one of the examples that he'll discuss on Iceland and how the app is actually being used with, diff on, with different use cases today. And then finally, content delivery. We have to make sure that the content delivered to our users was personalized and tailored to them to keep them engaged and that service offerings within the apps were services that they use on a regular basis. Now, although content is powerful, and there are other features which we've implemented to keep our users engaged and continuously returning back to the app. So those are social, which allows us to provide the ability to like and comment on content, the ability to follow users, both company, company influencers and other content channels, and also the ability for employees to post social content of events and company ongoings, giving the users a voice within the company and also providing an approach to creating more influencers within their organization. Now, communication was also another key tool, providing an integrated communication platform similar to WhatsApp that would allow users to find other employees and connect with them through the app, as well as having the ability to have group conversations, access digital assistance, that could quickly retrieve relevant information from third-party systems like HR or HCM, how much leave do I have? Let's jump into a demo, and I'm going to show you some of the rich features that we've built using the Oracle content and management platform. Now, to save time, instead of logging out, logging in, and swapping personas, I'm going to log in as an admin user. And uh, as we go through it, describe the capabilities and how we've tied in key engaging areas. So let me share now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give you a live demo of um, our branded portal uh, that we've used at Fishbowl Solutions. So this is the login screen, and I haven't logged in yet, but as part of this, we get access to public information that may be provided to um, other users. So if you're creating things like um, an advocacy portal and you want other users to potentially become employee uh, advocates on your system, they can access the content and see the feed within here. So as you can see, I'm currently an anonymous user. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sign in. And we've created multiple ways to connect. So if you're an ad advocate of the platform, not an employee, you could connect with Facebook or with Twitter. Alternatively, as an employee, I'm going to connect with Azure, which is my identity provider. And here I've just got two-factor authentication, so just give me a second to prove. Okay, so once the user is logged in, they are returned back to the feed. And there's, there's three segments at the top here. We've got the dashboard, we've got the feed, and we've got resources. Now, as part of this feed, you'll see across the top here, we've got our influences or, or groups of content that are being uh, created by our editorial team. And what the users can do is they can go into this create group area and they can create their own wrapper and then start posting content in. So you can see here, for example, on this uh, grouping, um, there's four pieces of new content, which I haven't accessed before, that are listed there. And then if we scroll down the page, and I, remember, I'm an admin here, so I'm, I'm seeing all of the admin features. So this is, includes lifecycle, so I can publish, review, unpublish assets on the fly. Now, an employee wouldn't see the, this. This is just purely for editors. And the content that I'm exposing here is all being surfaced up through Oracle Content and Experience. But this content is being personalized to my user. And that personalization information is actually coming out of uh, Oracle HCM. So we're getting things from Oracle HCM on the user so that we know how to drive targeted content to them based on their location, based on uh, their department, pay grade, and other things. So all this content is OCM, and we're providing different widgets or different layouts to expose that content from galleries to videos to podcasts to keep our users engaged on the platform. So if I move across to the dashboard, now the dashboard is pretty cool and interesting, and we're currently evolving our platform today. 
And what you can see on the dashboard are a set of widgets that provide mashups or snippets of information into third-party systems, whether that's Taleo or other mentoring applications, Microsoft tools like Yammer. And what we're doing with these components is we're actually building those as platform agnostic. So if you have this app installed on your mobile device, you can actually take these widgets and actually put them directly on your home screen. So you don't need to open up or launch the app. You have this information directly available to you on your whatever your mobile app is, whether it's iOS or Android. And we're also working on exposing these as actual widgets on your desktop. So you don't need to log into a portal. You could see, for example, your mentoring information or Yammer information and directly integrate, directly access that on the fly. And then on the right here, we've got integration with uh, the Oracle Content Management Documents capability, where I can see a list of my folders, my documents, and access these on the fly. Now, this is my personal uh, area, but it's also an area that uh, people may have shared content with me or an area that I can share content out to groups of users. So as part of this, if I just go into uh, my user profile area, so all of the navigation and elements you're seeing is personalized based on who I am. So I'm just gonna go into my profile and I'm gonna edit my profile here. Now this just gives, brings back data from Azure or from Facebook or Twitter and displays it in here. And I can report out if the data is incorrect on Azure. But what I can also do is I can sign up to different type groups of content, or I can say, hey, I want content from uh, different regional areas. And that's handled by taxonomies on OCE, mapping against the data that I've defined within the app. So here I can define what countries I want to see content from. Um, alternatively, we can change our language. So this is key. Obviously, the app's global. So if we need right to left support, we have that with Arabic. We can swap to different languages. And when I swap to these different languages, we can then start bringing back uh, content that has been translated in that language direct to the user. Because not all users around the globe will speak English. So we can do that by toggling this setting. So let's go back here. Um, the other thing we've also introduced are sometimes there are apps that cannot be uh, directly integrated. Maybe there's not an API level layer. So we've created a launchpad system that allows you to access those apps either externally or maybe we've created individual applications purely designed for employee engagement. Whether that's people finder, an ability to connect with my network, suggest ideas to enhance the app, or if I'm new to the company, let's start my onboarding journey. And therefore I can start going through the system and configuring the app so that it brings back the data that I need today. Um, so let's go into this and just have a quick look at the contribution experience. So we've got two experiences. We've got the ability to manage content directly within this app here, um, or we can create the content. So you don't need to use OCM. You can create the content directly in here. So if I want to create a gallery or a video, an initiative or an article, I can actually click on one of these areas. So if here I'm going in to create an article and I can then select the create an image and add an image to the area, define where this article is going to sit. And this is all in line, by the way. So if I just edit this data, example title, um, it's already being, it's being updated. So we've got um, also uh, other components such as rich text editor capabilities here. And it's also responsive. So if you're on a desktop, it'll expand out and support a desktop view on the fly. And we've built a number of tools also on top of OCE to customize the experience so that we can allow editors, more advanced editors, to actually um, specify a taxonomy and target the content that they want to certain individuals or groups of individuals. Now, if we go back, you'll see that we have the ability to comment and we can like on different assets down here. So if I go into one of these assets, and you'll see this is an example of an article page. But in here, I have the ability to write a comment and post a comment in here. Now, on top of that, what we've also done is let me go to one of our sections here. So let's go into uh, 
mentoring, mentoring at Fishville. So this is a, one of our groups. And as part of one of the groups, I can see all of the assets with regards to mentoring held within here. But what I can also do as I'm part of this group, and I can choose to sign up or I can be directly made uh, a user of this group. So I receive the content that's being contributed in my social feed. But what I can do is I can also post directly to this, uh, to this group. So if I go in here, I get this kind of Twitter style view that allows me to add attachments. I can also take a photo straight from my phone or take a short video of 30 seconds and I can contribute that and create that as a new post on, uh, within the application. Now, we've got two approaches here. We've actually built in machine learning. So, our app can automatically detect the sentiment and type of language the user is using, and also with OCM, the type of imagery that they're posting into or trying to post in the system. And we can flag up and notify the user and say, hey, are you really sure you want to post that? And we, at the same time, if they do agree to post it, we can flag it to a moderator to review that content that's being posted. Alternatively, we can disable the machine learning and have a way that moderators can approve and moderate content before it's contributed within the platform. Um, on top of that, we do have integration built with digital assistants. So I have two menus. I have my navigation menu down the left here, and I have my chatbot integration in the right. So if you have a chatbot, it's possible to bring that content and those skills or services into your chatbot and deliver them through the app to make it more engaging. And then two more things I just want to quickly cover before I finish off is as part of the contribution process, when new content is made public and is published onto the, the platform, anyone that signed up to see this content that's on their social feed can also receive notifications and they can disable or enable them. And the editors can actually say, I want to send out a notification. This is quite critical. And so as part of that, they'll receive either a web or a native push notification to their device of which they can click and go directly into the article. On, into the article. And then finally, one of the other social capabilities that we have here is influencers. So if you're familiar with Twitter, if I go into people, I can see a list of my employees here and I can search for employees, but I also have the ability to follow them. So just like with groups of content, I can follow groups of content or unfollow them. And then on my panel on the side here, you can see, I can see, well, at the moment I've got, I'm not following anyone, but I would be able to see a list of the users and then I could go in here and I could find those users to follow. And that would also bring their activity stream into my stream as a unified feed. I also have the ability to do search. So we're using OCM search here. So if I typed in blog, for example, it brings back all the blogs really quickly. And I can actually interact and go into this article, see information on that. And then I can also go into the grouping or the section, which I've got as fishbowl news here. And now we're in the section that contains articles, may contain podcasts, videos, and different assets that we've created or our editors or even our influencers have created on the platform. Okay, great, thank you. Okay, so after basically a lot of you know ideas that John has shared around uh, you know technical options that are available, um, you know I actually want to go back to to a real life example and also explaining a bit you know that sometimes it's just necessary to bring tech out and tech has you know certain limitation when it comes to you know use cases and this is a great one here that's actually something that was brought to me this year from our hr lead in iceland so as you probably know um, iceland is home to quite a few volcanoes um, quite a few of them where i'm struggling to pronounce the name but actually um, earlier this year one of those volcanoes erupted and then um, it's um, the interesting part is that that locale is quite close to one of our free um, service stations that we have on Iceland. 
And, um, you know, my colleague actually explained me so the nature of volcanoes is, you know, they're not erupting and it's over, you know, it comes and goes and comes and goes. And um, sometimes it's more, so it becomes quite dangerous. In other instances, it's not the case. So what they actually used then uh, when the swooping started is Smart Connect by basically using one of those functionalities that we have in there, a broadcast function, uh, which allows you to kind of send one-way messages um, to all employees you want to target. And in this case, they ensured that whoever was on a road um, delivering or close to that particular volcano wasn't informed um, that there's you know, another eruption coming um, with the immediate need to report back to headquarters to ensure that they were safe. And my key message is that here, you know, you can do whatsoever and so many design thinking workshops, requirements, gathering, and essentially building the tech around. But at the end, you know, that thing needs to, uh, you know, be become an essential part of um, the daily into your life. And out of that, you know, new, new uh, use cases and so on will eventually then develop. And with this, where are we right now is um, basically, um, we are now live in 140 countries, so a few still to go, but we're covering by now almost 60,000 employees. And um, I think we are quite proud of it because also for us here as an HR organization, we, you know, we had to very much work on the mindset on that, you know, at the end of the day, um, no employee has to use this platform to, de to be successful in their job. So it's not mandatory. So with that also as an organization, you know, we from time to time have to put on your sales and marketeer hat um, in order to promote it. Also a big part of the transition. And with this, let's come to the learnings. So um, that journey is obviously not over. So this is currently learning so far. But, um, you know, what I want to tell you right away is um, it is important to have a strong partner about like with Fishbowl, you've seen, you know, a lot of ideas coming in there. And for us as a big organization, um, we also have a lot of ideas, we know our employees very well, but then when it comes from, from a conceptual perspective, building the best tech, um, it is wise to have a good partner. Secondly, as I said, nobody has to use this app. So you need to have people on the ground who are supporting, who are there to you know, do the actual implementation and those are our ambassadors. So we have a full network of colleagues across the globe who do that. And us here as a central team is extremely important that we, you know, empower them um, and engage them, encourage them to continue um, in this job. Thirdly, you know, also, you know, like it is in the outside world, influencers are important. And, you know, you have already influencers in the company who are communicating most of the time your leaders. Um, but here it is an essential part that it became you know, active by themselves. So it's not so much about, you know, hey, there's my newsletter, but it's more really, you know, becoming part um, of, you know, social activities, posting things, particularly now in the Corona time, it was extremely important. Um, so employees also see, you know, that whatever they are doing is being, you know, seen and visible. And lastly, you know, we can still build the best tech in the world, but at the end of the day, you need to have your mission statement. For us, it's connect and um, enable and engage. And with this, um, it's basically the focus on the employee benefits rather than, you know, go and try to develop um, the better WhatsApp. Um, so really focus on the key benefits for the employees. And this is really what we want to do and continue. So talking about in the next steps is very much about focusing on further, uh, you know, personalization, um, something that becomes even more tailored to yourself um, as an employee, because that is then the, the essential part of your, you know, personal employee journey um, with DHL Express. So coming to my end for mind, with this, um, yeah, we aim to make the world a little bit you know, smarter and connected. And my message for you guys really is um, that you please, um, on the next slide, don't forget, um, you know, make the world, um, you know, a little bit happier and yeah, have your best day every day. And with this, um, thanks a lot for my end. Awesome. Thank you, Jonathan. And thanks to John Sim for that demo, showcasing some of the platform capabilities that have been utilized by DHL. A great story. I especially like the story about alerting drivers 
in Iceland regarding volcanoes. Really cool use cases there. As we go forward here, what does it take? So as you've heard from DHL, obviously they've started this their journey you know, a few years ago. They partnered with Oracle and Fishbowl. And what we found in doing this for so long and partnering with companies like DHL is that really you really need a leading content experience platform. And for that, Oracle offers Oracle uh, with Oracle Content Management, Fishbowl as a partner really looks at that platform to, de- to develop solutions like Smart Connect that DHL is utilizing. So it also takes a partner that knows about employee engagement. So working with uh, other companies over our 10 years, really understanding that employee journey and what it takes to, to help them be more engaged so they can be more productive and then become ambassadors for your brand. Fishbowl has that understanding as well. But the UX is the critical piece. So getting getting employees excited about using the app really takes that coolness factor, if you will, incorporating your your brand and your your themes and your styles and all that is, is great. But then really, how do you really truly engage them and make the application or the site sticky so they want to keep coming back? And Fishbowl has partnered with companies like the Maverick Group over the years to really put that flair on the user experience. We're offering a free employee engagement discovery session. This is really where we start with every interested party, interested organization that wants to take this employee engagement journey. We'll sit down with you for 30 minutes, have a Zoom call or whatever, and have you really take us through what, what's your business problem or initiative when it comes to employee engagement, or um, it could be for another use case that you're thinking about. And really what, what's on your wish list. So if you're going to build an application or a platform like DHL has, what is it, uh, what, what's on your list? What would you like to accomplish um, and the reasons why, you know, for, for having those features? And really take a look at, well, how is each one of your users, you know, going to use the platform? What's, what's their day in the life look like? We'll help you map that out a little bit. And then really have that architecture integration discussion about the current technologies you're using How do we bring those all together and what might be needed? And we can really brainstorm that with you and have that again within 30 minutes. We've done this numerous times with other customers, including DHL. So if you're interested in that, please email us at sales at fishbowlsolutions.com. So again, thanks to Jonathan Ruff at DHL. I think with that, we are going to conclude today's webinar. There's much more information regarding employee engagement offerings and stories from Fishbowl. So check us check us out on the web and through social media. And with that, again, this is Jason Lehman signing off. Thanks again, everyone. And we hope to see you on our next webinar.